Hey there, I'm Angela Scott. I'm here at Fippen Art Museum and we are kicking off the summer. If you're a local or not, you know that this event that takes place on the square, the 45th Western Art Show and Sale is coming up and that kicks off our summer. Joining me is Executive Director Ed Kellerman. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you for being here. We're glad to have you. So tell me about this event. This is, like you said, the 45th Annual Western Art Show and Sale on the Courthouse Plaza here in historic Prescott, Arizona. It's a Memorial Day tradition. It's been taking place since 1974. Uh, this year we have almost 90 artists from all across the nation participating, so we're looking for another great uh, forward to another great show this year. So. Absolutely. So what can people expect to see? Uh, well, in addition to all the great art on the square, um, um, artists displaying their artwork in booths on the square, we also have uh, which extremely popular event is the Quick Draw Challenges on Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, hugely popular, huge crowds show up. What we do is we give 20 or more artists a chance to uh, they give them an hour to create a piece of uh, artwork from a uh, blank canvas. So at their discretion, whatever they want to paint. Whatever they want, they start with a blank canvas. So we rope off an area on the courthouse plaza. Folks gather around and watch all of the, of the creative process going on. Give them an hour to create the piece of artwork. Give them about 15 minutes after that to frame the work. And then all the uh, folks watching on the steps come down onto the courthouse. And the artists swap places, come up onto the steps. We have an auctioneer that uh, does a live art auction with the crowd. Um, uh, it's all to benefit the museum, and it's just an extremely popular event. So. I bet that sounds like a lot of fun for families to come join, watch, and buy some art. It is. You it is a great opportunity, and, and probably more reasonably priced than you'd find for a lot of uh, fine art of similar quality. So. so also being here at the museum, I know that weekend this, the museum is free to everyone. Exactly, yeah. All three days, it gives everybody a chance to come out and see what we have to offer here. You know, One of our biggest barriers is getting people to come out and, mm -hmm. in the doors. Museum sells itself, so we can get people out here inside the door we don't have to explain why the Fitbit Museum is so important. It absolutely so. does. That's how I felt when I walked in. It just sells itself. I exactly. mean, even if you're not you know, comfortable or you're not familiar with Western art, right. it really creates a history of our of where we're from. Exactly. And there's so much, you know, there's so much involved in Western art too. Some people think it's just horses and uh, uh, cowboys, and, and it's so much more than that. Landscape artists, uh, yeah. watercolor, pastels, mixed media, mm -hmm. drawings. There's so many different uh, varieties, and and uh, the diversity of artwork uh, or artists that are creating the work is is impressive too. So. And I was really impressed when you showed me some art up there, but there is a Russian painter that painted a right. piece of American Western art. Probably one of the most interesting things about this year's show is just the diversity of artists that we have participating. We have a couple of artists from Siberia, uh, one from Jaipur, India, wow. um, Shanghai, China, another one from South Korea, United Kingdom, tribal nations. Uh, we have an artist who's uh, colorblind. We have one who's deaf. Uh, we have wow. artists in the show this year that are husband and wife team, mm -hmm. mother and daughter. We have mm -hmm. brothers. So they're just incredibly uh, diverse group of artists who all create Western art of the American West. So. Yeah, and I also love the idea that you do art classes here. We just saw some a pastel class going right. on. So it really creates interest in the community, gives people an opportunity to get better at their craft. It is, and it's cyclical. It, it, the art drives people's interest in the workshops and classes. Mm -hmm that we have here and mm -hmm. vice versa. So it all it all works together in a, in a great circle of uh, artwork. So mm -hmm. You have sculptures, you have shadow boxes. I mean, just the variety of, of it's a similar genre, but a variety of way of expressing it. Exactly, exactly. And uh, on display during the Memorial Day show and sale here in the lower level gallery, this is the miniature masterpiece art show and sale. Uh, these pieces are a little bit smaller than you might normally find, but they're also more reasonably priced mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, from outstanding Western artists from all over the country. Uh, we have some Cowboy Artists of America uh, artists right. participating. So some really incredible pieces awesome. uh, at a reasonable price. These are all sale by draw. So the price That's is right. fixed, and you put your name in the box, and then on the sale uh, draw by date is May okay. 27th. Okay, so uh, much going on. Exactly. Thank you so much for sharing this information. You don't want to miss this event. Make sure you check our, our website at azdailymix.com. Don't go away. We'll be right back after the break.